Before the Mueller report on Russia and President Trump was released to the public, Attorney General William Barr made several statements about what was inside its 448 pages. He released a letter dated March 24th and held a news conference on April 18th, shortly after releasing a redacted version of Mueller's report. As it turns out, the actual report is more damning of Trump than Barr indicated. In his letter, Barr directly quotes from the Mueller report, highlighting its conclusion that Trump campaign officials did not conspire or illegally coordinate with the Russian government. But Barr omits an important finding that comes right before the statement Barr quoted. Expecting to benefit electorally may not be the same as actively cooperating, but the omission in Barr's letter is noteworthy. It casts a different, less flattering light on the Trump campaign than Barr indicated. In the news conference, Barr used the word collusion. The special counsel found no collusion. There was no evidence of the Trump campaign collusion with the Russian government's hacking. After finding no underlying collusion with Russia. But collusion is not a legal term for a crime, as indicated in the Mueller report. The issue is not Barr's choice of synonyms, but that his statements gloss over the known ties between Trump campaign members and the Russians. Mueller documented those ties exhaustively. The special counsel did not reach a conclusion on whether to bring charges against Trump for obstructing justice, but Barr made several comments on who would have the last word. Special Counsel Mueller did not indicate that his purpose was to leave the decision to Congress. I hope that was not his view, since we don't convene grand juries and conduct criminal investigations for that purpose. The report does not say that Mueller intended to leave the obstruction-related decisions to Barr. Mueller says that Congress, as a general matter, has the power to subject the president to obstruction laws. and his report uses suggestive language about Congress's role in this debate. He didn't want to potentially preempt constitutional processes for addressing presidential misconduct. That's a reference to impeachment, as a footnote makes clear. The White House fully cooperated with the special counsel's investigation. This is an astonishing claim. Trump has been attacking Mueller's investigation for two years. The redacted Mueller report lays out numerous instances in which the president resisted or attacked the investigation. An entire volume of Mueller's report, 182 pages long, is dedicated to 10 episodes of potential obstruction. Barr presents an incomplete and misleading view of the Mueller report. His claims are stripped of important context that casts Trump and his campaign in a damning light. These statements give a warped view of the Mueller report.